Should you buy a manufactured home? With housing prices being super high, a lot of people may still want to own their home. They might not want to rent. I don't want to rent, I want to own. So they're looking at other options that they can go where it could be more affordable. Um, one particular option could be a manufactured home, mobile home, or modular home. I'll explain all the difference, but in this particular video, I'll be going over what it is and the pros and cons with getting a manufactured home or modular home. I'll explain the difference. So you'll know by the end of this video whether it's for you. Thank you. Did, you Thanks for your help. Now the thing about this, I'm kind of just going to explain mobile home versus manufactured home or versus modular home because people kind of use them loosely, but I'm kind of going to clear it up for you. And when I say mobile, that means that you can transport the house from one location to another. So any particular home that was built before 1976 would be considered mobile homes because the standards of the codes as far as the house structures and stuff like that the codes is, was a lot different because before they didn't really have any codes about how you can kind of make it. So a lot of times when you're thinking about like trailer, a trailer or stuff like that, those are probably mobile homes. But anyone after 1976, that's when it had to meet the HUD uh, code, which is, I believe it's housing and urban development code or it's from the Department of Housing. Um, so therefore it would meet the same standards as a traditional home. That's good to mention. Now, so for the manufacturer home, it's pretty much where, you know, all the pieces and stuff is built in the factory and then, they, you know, just kind of put together or they just kind of move it to that destination. Now, the other one is the modular home. It's very similar, but the key difference between the, the modular home um, codes, building codes is slightly different. They all kind of meet the same criteria, but uh, modular homes are intended to have permanent foundation it means that once it's set, it's not meant to be moved. So we are not moving anywhere. So it's not meant to be mobile. Now with the manufacturer home, um, what you can also do is once you have that permanent foundation, then pretty much is considered a modular home. Those are the, uh, the things that I just want to go over briefly before I go over the pros and cons of the mobile home. So when you're talking about a mobile home, you're thinking about, remember it's a home that you had the ability to transport it. And a lot of times, most of the pieces are like built in a, a factory. So it's not like the traditional way that you're used to seeing a regular house um, put together. With that being said, let's go over the pros and cons about the, the mobile home in, or manufacturer home in general. Okay, get to the good stuff. First pro about it is probably the most important one, that it's way more affordable. You can get way more house with a manufactured home. It's it's much cheaper. Median price for like a manufactured home be like you gotta have to. I'll have the numbers up on the screen, but I think it's like between eighty or hundred versus the median of a traditional home, which is like four hundred thousand or something like that. It depends on the area, but you guys get the the whole point that I'm throwing out for a price per square foot. I believe for manufactured homes, it's probably about maybe like forty something versus traditional is would be like a hundred dollars per square foot so you can get a lot more for a cheaper price as far as with the manufacturing versus the traditional the other thing is it's way the far as the pros it's it's a lot more efficient with energy so you save a whole lot more money on your uh, gas and electric another pro about it is because the manufacturer home is personal property it, the property tax is uh, much less so they consider it as personal property owned be simply because it's a mobile so they don't classify it as uh, real estate now that changes if you put a permanent foundation but i don't want to get too caught up with that another one it's as far as timing so it's easy to build these manufacturer homes you can you know put them up in 10-15 weeks. Um, you can even have yours customized, built very quickly. Um, it's way more cheaper than trying to customize or build out of like the traditional house that you're used to kind of seeing. So that is uh, another thing, the flexibility at that option. It can be, it, it can get a little expensive as far as moving them and stuff like that. But you do have that option. And another good thing about it is if you already already have land, just being able to put the manufacturer homes there is a big plus as well. 
Now I went over the, the pros, now I'm going to go over the cons because I went over the pros and there are pros and there are cons. One of the cons is, I want to say the biggest cons is the stigma. Typically, mobile homes typically has a bad stigma. You think of trailers or poor quality or like what they say, like the trailer trash. So typically the stigma of what society has around it is not painted so much. It's not associated with high status. It's can kind of considered poor, low class. You know, it's, it's like, it's not necessarily a real home. So that stigma, um, even though now, like it, mo a lot of the uh, mobile homes, especially if you get the double wide, you can even get, well, sort of kind of, you can even have it with two stories. A lot of these mobile homes is kind of very, very way more advanced than you was looking at 70s, 1980s or something like that. The next biggest con is the finance option. So because they consider it as a personal property, a lot of banks won't give you the traditional loans. A lot of them, as far as getting a loan or financing for it, that can definitely be a problem. However, though, you would, they have loan options. You can do like personal loans, charter loans. Now you also could do uh, VA loans or FHA loans, uh, Federal Housing Administration loans or something like that. You would be able to use that. But as far as the financing part, they can, that can kind of uh, give you a problem there. Another thing about it is the appreciation. Now, a lot of times I heard mixed things about this, but generally I'll just go with generally if you, a lot of times they don't uh, appreciate in value. Some, a lot of times they even depreciate in value because they kind of consider personal property. Of course, if you maintain it and stuff like that, it vary, but just say in general, if you have a, just like a regular a manufacturer home, a lot of the time stuff, it could depreciate in value or kind of hold its value. It really depends on how you uh, maintain it. Now, going forward, I think it's also to mention that in my opinion, it really depends on the area. So if the area or the land that you have on it. So if you own the land, a lot of times the land or the area is kind of going to dictate the value than the mobile home itself. Um, also, as far as, you know, whether you got single wide or double wide, I've heard the double wide. So the bigger it is, typically the more it kind of hold its value as well. And also I wanted to say about that, if you get the permanent foundation, once you get the permanent foundation, then it kind of follows the, the regular housing market as well, the houses in that particular area. So it's good to mention that. So I heard uh, mixed feelings. I did some research on it and I got mixed things, but it really depends a lot of times from the research that I've done. The, the surrounding area, the land and with the houses nearby. Pretty much if you have the permanent foundation, it should reflect the similar prices of the houses in the nearby area. Also, you have to remember most like mobile homes or manufactured homes, you, they don't allow you to, to buy the land. They like, uh, they normally have like parks, not like the parks that like you think about it, like, but like areas of land, this allow you to, um, you have to end up paying rent for the land. Now, I will say that that's one of, to me, one of the biggest cons, because I mean, you if you can find your own land or something like that, a good land area where you can already have your land, then I think it's a smart way to go. But a lot of times you have to pay land rent and depending on the area that you're in, the land rent will be much higher. So typically if you're in the area where the land rent is much lower. It's probably because the area is not that good. But if you in, and if you are in the area that's really nice, the land rent is going to be kind of high. And sometimes the land rent itself could be higher than your mortgage payment. So that's also good to mention. My personal experience. I've looked at a few mobile homes, and sometimes the land rent was higher than the actual mortgage payment. So. I just wanted to kind of let you know. Whenever you get like a manufacturer home or something like that, as far as and you wanted to move it, it can be a little costly. Also, you want to be familiar with the zoning areas and things like that, as far as and being able to, if you wanted to have your, to have it put in a certain area, you want to make sure you can get uh, utilities, sewer systems and all that stuff so that it can uh, run functionally like a regular house. It's the pros and cons about the manufactured homes. A lot of times the manufactured homes, like they'll have it where they have the axles and the wheel. I think they have kind of put frames and stuff around it and um, you know, the set and stuff like that. But a lot of times the manufactured homes, they'll have it where like you can easily put the, it's on like an axle or wheels and they'll probably just put the like, I think like the frame things in front of it. Um, but once again, if you get the permanent foundation, it. Now, I meant to also meant to tell you, once you get the permanent foundation, then as far as getting a traditional loan and stuff like the banks and stuff, 
um, getting a loan and stuff wouldn't shouldn't be a problem and they kind of like would categorize it as like a regular um, house and stuff like that but that's good to know but these are the pros and cons about whether you should get a mobile home or manufactured home the pros and cons that's it if you have any questions let me know in the comment below in the description below uh, and let, if you have any questions let me know in the comments below if you haven't already make sure you hit the like button if you're new make sure you subscribe to the channel out